Hi, and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. And uh, in this section, we're going to learn how to use the graphing abilities of this calculator to find the slope of a curve at a given point and uh, also the equation of a line tangent to the curve, which we'll find out that these two things are really related uh, intimately. So what we need to do is uh, let's choose a clean, uh, clean function here. Uh, that we all know how to work with x squared uh, let's say minus one uh, and we'll find out why this is useful here in a second the main reason is that it's just a nice sweeping parabola it's easy to visualize but everything we're about to talk about is uh, directly applicable to any function that you could um, that you could uh, plot here so let's talk about two things what does it mean when we say the slope of a, of a, of a curve really uh, what it means is if uh, you know, if I had a straight line here instead, right, if I had a straight line, everybody here could calculate the slope of that line, uh, rise over run, right? How far up does the line go compared to how far over does it go? We divide the rise divided by the run, and that's going to give us a number that's going to basically indicate how steep that line is. It's what we call the slope of that line. So it's kind of easy to visualize for a line, but when you have a curve like this, something that's constantly changing, uh, bending over so to speak if I wanted to look at this point right here what would be the slope of the curve right here uh, well obviously it's fairly steep right here because the, the function is getting steeper compared to let's say down here down here the the uh, the line or the uh, curve is kind of bending over so it's not nearly as steep here now mathematically the way you define it is uh, when you look at this you say well okay at this point if I were to draw a line tangent to this curve just tangent to this curve tangent means it just barely touches this curve in one spot only one spot right here let's say we're looking right here if I could draw a line that just barely skirted the surface if I could find the slope of this line that just barely touched it then I would uh, know this what we call the slope of this curve at this point the slope of the curve at a point is basically equal to the slope of the line that just barely touches that curve at that point we call it the tangent line so if you look down here and I've found a tangent line down here somewhere that that line would just barely touch let's say just like this uh, well the slope of this line down here is much less than the slope of the line that would be crossing up here so the slope of this curve bottom line is changing all the time no matter where you look whatever point you investigate the slope of this curve is it is steeper up here because the, the curve is, is going north so to speak um, much faster so it's a higher slope and down here near the uh, the point where it bends over the the slope is is um, the slope is a lot less and right here at the, the absolute bottom point where it sort of just bends over the slope is actually zero because the tangent line is going to go straight across like this so it kind of bends over like that so that's sort of a little bit of primer because what we're going to do now is just use the calculator to find these points so if we go into this guy I want to skip down a little bit past intersection and if you go to derivative uh, you're going to have dy dx. What I haven't told you up until this point, and sort of hidden this fact from the students that are not in calculus yet, when we say that we're trying to find the slope of a of a curve at a point, or the slope of the line tangent to a curve at a point, what we're doing is we're calculating the derivative. That's what we call a derivative. It's a word from calculus, but it, it really doesn't mean anything more complicated than what we've been talking about. If you're trying to find the derivative of this curve at this point, all you're doing is trying to find out what the slope of this curve is here. And the only way to do that is to try to draw a line tangent to this curve that just barely touches it and find the slope of that line. That is what we call the derivative. Um, so if you've never taken calculus, congratulations. You understand one of the core things of calculus one, um, you know, that will get you far in that class. So let's go down to derivative because that's what we're trying to calculate and select dy dx. There's some other things grayed out here because uh, when you have more complicated functions of two and three variables, you'll have different uh, choices here. But for now, since we only have f of x or, or y is equal to x, dy slash dx, that means the derivative of y with respect to x. That means how fast does this function change in y with respect to how fast does it change in x. So we're calculating a slope. It's kind of like rise over run. Uh, sort of if you think of it that way. So when you hit enter, 
it's asking us find dy dx at and it gives us a question mark so we're free to go around this curve and pick whatever value we want and uh, you know basically choose something so let's say we're interested in the value up here so really high so let's go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna think for a second and it'll calculate dy dx is equal to 6.3291 now don't forget what this is dy dx is simply equal to the slope of the line tangent to this curve if we could draw a line here it would look something like this the slope of this line would be 6.32 pretty steep slope okay so remember that because I'm gonna compare something to it here so 6.3 so if we go back in here and go to number six for derivatives and hit enter again so we found that the slope up there was around six point something let's go down here the graph is much shallower down here because we're bending over so we should have a shallower slope and the slope that we get is 1.51 here okay if I drew a tangent line here it would be much shallower that would barely intersect with that so if we go and do it again number six let's try to get as close as we can to this point where it exactly bends over right there let's hit enter and it'll calculate the slope at that point is zero. The reason the slope is zero because if I tried to find a line tangent to this curve at this point, right at the sort of the apex, or I guess it's really the valley right there, the minimum, then the only line that I can find that's exactly tangent is uh, the one that barely touches right there, a zero slope. All right. One more I'll give you. Number six, and hit enter. Let's go over here on the other side. What do you think is going to happen if we find the slope over here? Well, it's the still the line tangent to this function, right? Uh, so it's going to get steeper and steeper and steeper as we go this way. But the only real difference between this side and this side is now the line tangent is going the other direction. See, all of these tangent lines went this direction with positive slope. Don't forget that lines that go this direction, catty corner like this, have negative slope. So when I hit enter, the slope is negative 3.29 like this the only reason it's negative is because the tangent line goes this direction if I go do it again and pick a point farther up toward the top I'm going to get a higher number because I have a steeper part of the curve up there 6.3 but it's negative only because the tangent line goes that direction so that's really a lesson in calculus really even though I haven't really emphasized it too much I mean this is a core principle of calculus one so if you understand this, I mean, and you're not even in calculus, that's wonderful. You're going to do just great. If you're in calculus, then you already understand everything I'm talking about. One more thing I'll show you. Uh, that's how to find the derivative at a point on a curve. Let's go down past all of this to tangent, the function that says tangent. I feel like the derivative function and the tangent function go hand in hand, so I'm going to sh teach you this in one section. So hit Enter. And it's going to ask me, what is the tangent point, or uh, where should I like to find uh, or calculate this guy here? And what it's asking me here is, when I hit enter, it's not only going to find the, um, the slope here, it's going to find the entire equation of a line at this point. So let's go ahead and hit enter and see what happens. So it thinks for a second, and it draws the tangent line to this curve. It draws the tangent line to this curve. That's exactly what I've been motioning with my, my cursor here to show you, but the calculator has the ability to actually do that for you. So we'll go down again to A. We'll go down over here. What do you think the, the, the tangent line is going to look like over here? It's going to look a little more shallow, right? So hit Enter. Let it think for a second. It's going to draw a line tangent to this curve. And this is the equation of the line. Y is equal to 1.51x minus 1.57, right? And we'll do one more really quickly. Uh, F5, go up here to tangent. And we'll do it over here. Just like this. So we'll hit enter again, let it think. And it'll find the tangent line to this guy and give me the equation. Now notice something. When we found the equation of this tangent line here, right? Notice that this is the equation of the tangent line. Notice that any, any line, y is equal to mx plus b, right? Everything in front of x is the slope of that line. So this guy is the slope of the line, negative 3.3. It's negative because the line is sloped in this direction. All right. Now I'm going to use this to point something out to you that I think you'll find interesting. The way you get rid of these lines, see, if you go back into y equals, these lines are not there at all, only your original function. These lines are there drawn and sort of temporarily drawn for you to, 
to perform this calculation. If you want to get rid of them, just go to F4 to regraph the function. And it'll regraph the original function and clear everything else off of the screen. So if you get a lot of tangent lines there, you can easily do that. Let me show you something really quickly. Let's go back into to, uh, derivative number six. And we'll, let's find dy dx at um, this point right here. Right? So the derivative is 3.03 .03 and then some other numbers here. So remember, 3.03. .03. This means that the slope of the line tangent to this curve at this point is 3.03. .03. So we're not going to move the cursor at all. We'll go back into math. We'll go back to find that tangent line, the equation of that tangent line, at the same exact point. Didn't move the cursor. Hit enter. It's going to think, draw the line, and it's going to give me the equation. Notice what this equation is. y is equal to 3.03797x minus this stuff. The slope of this line that it drew here is exactly what we just found for the derivative. Um, that's important for you to know because it's that's exactly consistent with what I've been saying. I've been telling you the whole time that the derivative at a given point is just simply taking the tangent line to a curve and finding its slope. That's what I've been telling you since we first started this lesson. So now I'm showing you with the calculator functions that if you go to any point on a curve and find that tangent line, you will get an equation of that line. If you look at the slope of that line, 3.03 .03 in this case, the answer that you get is going to be exactly the same thing as when we go and find the derivative because they're the same thing. The derivative is the slope of the line tangent to the curve so it should make sense like that. We'll do it one more time really quickly to, to make sure you understand. Let's go to derivative dy dx and let's go down over here. So we're going to get a negative derivative because the tangent line should be sloped this direction. We'll hit enter. The uh, derivative we're saying is negative 1.51 which should be the slope of the line tangent to this curve so remember negative 1.51 we'll go back into the menu go up to the tangent function we're not going to move the cursor at all we'll hit enter again the calculator will draw the tangent line and give us the entire equation the slope of this line is negative 1.51 we have more information here because we're given all of the information needed to draw this tangent line but the most important thing I'm trying to point out to you as sort of a calculus lesson here is the slope of the line tangent to this curve is equal to the derivative at this point. That is the definition of the derivative. So I worked two things into this lesson. Number one, showing you how to use these functions in this menu, the derivative function and the tangent function. Number two, giving you a little bit of a calculus lesson showing you that these two functions are in the menu but they really give you the same information really. Um, you can get the slope, you can get the derivative from just finding this tangent line uh, and so on. They give you two functions in the calculator just for completeness. Uh, sometimes you may want to find a quick derivative, sometimes you may want to draw the tangent line. In either case, if you want to clear your screen off, just regraph it by hitting F4 and it'll clear all these temporary lines off the screen and just regraph it. So there you go. That's a nice little lesson in derivatives from calculus and learning how to use the calculator to help you out finding the derivative of a curve and uh, can really help you out on your tests and your exams. Go ahead and learn how to use this capability and you'll be in great shape.